so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! to ride some really cool water slides. <laughs> yeah, at Not Soap City in Buena Park, California. <laughs> yeah. But before we can go on the water slides, we need to get all geared up. Let's put on our swimsuit. Whoa, <laughs> look, I'm in my swimsuit. Hmm, there's one thing we're forgetting. <laughs> sunscreen. We need to make sure we put on our sunscreen before we do any kind of swimming. <laughs> okay, here we go. don't want to get a sunburn. <laughs> Whoa, get your hands and your legs and I'm gonna spray some on my hand, put it on my face. <laughs> now we're all ready to do some swimming and ride some water slides. Come on! Silly. Whoa, do you see this place? There are so many cool things here. Let's go check it out. Come on. Whoa, look at it. There are so many things here, like a lazy river. Whoa, <laughs> hello. It's so lazy. <laughs> and a giant water slide. Hmm, maybe we could do that. <gasps> or we could do this. <laughs> Whoa, what's back there? Hmm, let's see if we can see. Do you see it? Look, there's a turtle with some fish. Hmm, <laughs> maybe we could do that too. Whoa, but do you see this? It's a giant lighthouse! Whoa! <laughs> it's so big! Whoa! <laughs> yeah! Lighthouses are so cool because they have really big and bright lights. Yeah, bright lights. And the lights help to tell fishermen and other boats where the shore is so they don't have an accident on the rocks. Mm -hmm. Helps to keep all the boats really safe. <laughs> well, I think the lighthouse is pretty cool. Oh, what do you see that behind me? Yeah, that's the beach house. Ooh, <laughs> and the beach house has so many fun things to explore. Let's go check it out. Come on. I'm so excited, come on. Whoa, but before we go up to the big slides on the beach house, we need to make sure that we're this tall. <laughs> Looks like we are. And we need to go barefoot, which means I can't wear my water shoes. Nope, <laughs> we'll take them off. One shoe, two shoes. <laughs> Okay, we'll leave them here and put them on later. <laughs> Whoa, look at it up here. There are so many water things and it's really loud. Whoa, <laughs> look at this. When you press this button, 
It puts water in this really cool bucket. And then when it fills all the way to the top, <laughs> we can throw it out. Woo! <laughs> Ooh, that's really fun. Don't get too splashed. Come on. It's so pretty. And hey, look who it is. It's a lifeguard. <laughs> Hello, I'm Lippy. What's your name? Hi, Lippy. I'm Ashley. Ooh, hi, Ashley. Ashley is a lifeguard. Yeah, lifeguards are really important because they help keep you and I safe when we go swimming or if we're at a really fun water park. <laughs> hey, I bet Ashley knows how to keep us safe. Let's ask her. <laughs> Hi, Ashley. How can we stay safe when we're here at the water park? Oh, well, Blippi, ways you can stay safe include always wearing sunscreen when you're out in the sun. Okay. Making sure you have a parent's permission before you go anywhere near the water. And make sure there's a lifeguard on stand to help keep you safe as well. Ooh. And always make sure you wear a Coast Guard approved life jacket. Oh, okay. Whoa, those are a lot of things. Well, first, we put on our sunscreen. <laughs> yeah, so you don't get a sunburn. And you always want to be with a grown-up and make sure a lifeguard's on duty. Hmm, you should also wear a life jacket if you're swimming in a pool. <laughs> Another really good thing is learning how to swim. <laughs> yeah, I love swimming. It's so much fun. Well, now that we learned how to be safe, I think it's time to go down the really big slide, the beach house. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think we're all ready, Ashley. All righty, whenever you're ready, Blippi. Thanks, Ashley. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Woo. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Whoa, I'm all wet. <laughs> that was so much fun. <laughs> hey, let's see if we can explore some more of the beach house. Come on. Woo. It's so cool! There are so many water guns and spouts. <laughs> Let's go see what we can find. That was really cold! Whoa! <laughs> Come on! It looks like the door isn't open. <laughs> no one must be home. <laughs> this is fun! Over here, you see it? Look at all the slides. There's so many different colors. <laughs> I bet you and I would have a really fun time if we go over there to the colorful slides. Look, there's so many different types, like orange and blue. <laughs> Let's go. Look at all the slides. Hey, and check this out. Whoa, this is a tube. <laughs> and this is what we're gonna use to ride down some of these slides. <laughs> Hello, woo. <laughs> Do you know what shape this is? <laughs> yeah, this is a really big circle. Woo. <laughs> well, before we get in the tube, we need to decide what slide are we going to go down? There are so many different kinds. Look at them all. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> the water's going so fast. And they're all different colors. Hmm. <laughs> what color slide do you see? Hmm. Yeah, look, I see a slide that's the color green. <laughs> Good job. Do you see any other colors? Hmm. Whoa, look over here. Yeah, there's a slide that's the color yellow. <laughs> hmm, you see any other colors? Yeah, I see a couple more colors too. My favorite color, the color blue. Well, 
This right here looks like a rainbow. There are so many different colors. Blue and green and red and orange. Whoa! <laughs> they all sound really, really fun. Hmm. I wonder what slide we're gonna go down. <laughs> I'm so excited and it's gonna be so much fun. Okay, let's go sliding. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. some more fun things in the park. <laughs> Let's go. Woo. <laughs> hey, look at this really cool place. There's so many fun water things here. <laughs> and look, it's a shipwreck. <gasps> Let's go see if there's some buried treasure. <laughs> Come on. <gasps> look at it. Do you see this? <laughs> it's a treasure chest. Ooh. <laughs> Should I open it up? See what's inside? <laughs> okay, let's see what's in this treasure chest. Whoa! It's buried treasure! It's all kinds of really cool gems <laughs> and coins. Ooh, gold coins. Arr, <laughs> I feel like a pirate. Okay. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we see if this treasure chest sinks or floats? Okay. Let's see if it sinks or floats. Whoa, look at it. This treasure chest, it floats. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, I didn't think this treasure chest would float. I thought it would sink because it's kind of heavy and it's filled with all kinds of gems and coins. Hey, treasure chest, treasure hunt. What if you and I went on a scavenger treasure hunt? And we found all types of things and see if they sink or float. <gasps> that would be so much fun. Okay, I'll leave the treasure chest here for later and let's go see what else we can discover. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. Come on. Whoa. Do you see any objects that we could use for sink or float? <laughs> yeah, good job. Really good eyes. I see a flip flop that's kind of a pinkish red. <laughs> Let's go check it out. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Let's see if this flip flop sinks or floats. Silly, it floats too. Hmm, we have a treasure chest and a flip flop. What else can we find? Hmm, oh look, it's a puffer fish. <laughs> puffer fishes are so cute. <laughs> hello, hello, Blippi. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing really good. Well, do you sink or float? I don't know. <laughs> I guess we're gonna find out. <laughs> he floats too. Bye bye. <laughs> Whoa! Look 
look at this. <laughs> Whoa, it's really shady now. <laughs> hmm, this is an umbrella and it's red and white. It looks like a really tasty candy cane. <gasps> I love candy canes. <laughs> Let's see if it sinks or floats. Whoa, it also floats. Ooh, let's see if we can find something that sinks. <laughs> I bet we will. Whoa, uh, this is a really scary shark. <laughs> Just kidding, this shark is really friendly and cute. Hello, hello shark. <laughs> He's our friend. And look, on his back, he has this. Whoa. I don't know what this is. It kind of looks like seaweed. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> yeah. And it's the colors green, blue, and orange. <laughs> Let's see if it sinks or floats. Whoa, look at it. It sinks all the way to the bottom. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. We finally found something that sinks. Hmm. But we're not done yet. <laughs> Whoa! Look at this! <laughs> Hello! He's wearing a hat or a visor so the sun doesn't get in his eyes. <laughs> hmm. You mind if I borrow your visor? <laughs> ah, thanks. Let's see if this sinks or floats. What do you think? Do you think this red and white visor will sink or float? Let's find out. <laughs> Whoa, look at it. The top part floats, but the bottom part is kind of heavy, so it sinks. Hmm, it's kind of suspended in the water. Whoa. <laughs> hey, do you see all those animals over there? What kind of animals are those? Hmm, <laughs> that's right. Look, there are two turtles. One turtle, two turtles, and there are two crabs. One crab, two crabs. <laughs> Ooh, let's see if maybe they're hiding something that we can use to sink or float. <laughs> This turtle has an inflatable hammock on its back. Whoa. And this crab has a teeny tiny shark. Hmm. Let's see if both of these green and white objects, yeah, they're both the color green and white. Let's see if they sink or float. Hmm. First, we'll do the hammock. Here we go. It floats, yeah. And now our shark. Here we go. Good luck. Woo! <laughs> Whoa! The shark swam all the way to the bottom and sunk. <laughs> now let's see what else. Hello. <laughs> Excuse me. <gasps> Look at this. Hello. <laughs> Oh, look at this. Yeah, this is a life ring. And this helps you in case you need to float in the ocean. <laughs> Do you know what shape this life ring is? <laughs> yeah, it's a circle. Ooh, and it's the color orange and white. Ooh, okay, let's see if this sinks or floats. Whoa, <laughs> look, it floats, yeah. Oh, hello, Mr. Turtle. Look at this turtle, it's so cool. Its shell is yellow, red, and really dark green. Ooh, <laughs> so many colors. And it has a little fish on its back. Woo, 
Woo! Woo! <laughs> Hello, fish! Do you think this fish will sink or float? Let's see! <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> it sunk! <laughs> yeah! Whoa! Look at what it is! It's a giant octopus on top of a yellow submarine! <laughs> yeah! Submarines are really cool vehicles that go under the water. <laughs> They sink, but sometimes the people driving the submarine need to get out, so it floats all the way to the top. Submarines sink, but they also float. <laughs> Let's see if some other objects are hiding inside the submarine. <laughs> These are? Yeah, these right here are pool noodles. <laughs> and they're my favorite colors. Orange and blue. <laughs> Do you think these pool noodles will sink or float? I guess we'll have to test it out. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> they float. Whoa! <laughs> Do you see what it is? It's a little red fish. Hello! Hello! <laughs> but there, it's a ring. There's a big circle inside the fish. <laughs> He's so cute. I wonder if this fish that's also a ring will sink or float. And hey, look! It has some friends. We have one fish, two fish, three fish, and four fish. Okay, I'm gonna drop them all at the same time to see if they sink or float. Whoa, look at it. We have a yellow and red fish. Wait a minute, look. Are they gonna sink? Are they gonna float? Whoa, that was so cool. The blue fish and the green fish, they sunk right away but the yellow and red fish were floating. <laughs> but then they all sunk. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> hey, I think we should go inside the yellow submarine and see if we can find anything else. <laughs> Look, it's a pail. A watering can or a watering pail. Yeah, if you have any plants and you want to keep them nice and healthy and strong, yeah, you just give them a little water. <laughs> Do you think this will sink or float? Okay, let's see. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, it floats. But maybe if it fills up with water... Nope, <laughs> it still floats, even if it has some water in it. <laughs> Whoa, I think I forgot something. Do you see this over here? Whoa. Let's see if this will sink or float. <laughs> I think this will be really exciting and cool because it's so big. <laughs> okay, stay right here. I'll be right back. It's so big. Whoa, look at this. This ball is so big. <laughs> this is the biggest beach ball I've ever seen. <laughs> Do you think it will sink or float? Okay, let's find out. <laughs> away. <laughs> that was so much fun finding out if all those things sink or float. Hmm, but there's still one thing we haven't tested to see if it sinks or floats. <laughs> I'm so excited for this last thing. Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> Hello. Sink or float. It's 
so much fun! And hey, look! I float! Woo! <laughs> but that's because I know how to swim. <laughs> Woo! And that was so much fun! <laughs> Whoa! We've gone on so many fun slides today. Looks like we have time for one more. <laughs> Bonsai Falls! Bonsai Falls! <laughs> this is gonna be awesome! Come on! <laughs> well, the slides we've been on before have had tubes and just sliding down just with ourselves, but Bonsai Falls has this really cool mat! Come on! Look at this! Yeah, I'm gonna hold on like this, and instead of going feet first like all the other slides, I'm gonna go head first! Whoa! It's so topsy turvy! <laughs> okay, I think we're all ready to go on the slide! Come on! Oh, hey Ashley! Hi! Oh, she got here really fast! <laughs> Come on! the day with you here at this really fun water park was really fun too we learned so much we made sure we put on our sunscreen and we learned so much about safety from ashley the lifeguard <laughs> yeah and we went down really tall big slides Woo! <laughs> well that's the end of this episode but if you want to watch more of my episodes all you have to do is search for my name hey will you spell my name with me <laughs> yeah! Okay, here we go! B-L-I-P-P-I! -I. Flippy! <laughs> Good job! Well, I'll see you real soon! I'm gonna go down the slide again! Hello, friends! It's me, Flippy! And today, we're exploring construction vehicles! Let's see! Can you guess which vehicle this is? Let's go find out! It's me, Blippi. Wow, and look at where I'm at. Yeah, today, I'm at Tenino, Washington at a job site. Yeah, and today, you and I get to learn about a machine. Yeah, a really heavy machine. It has a really big blade up front, pushes anything and everything out of its way. It has a lot of power. It's a little slow, though. And it starts with the letter B, just like my name. <laughs> Do you know what machine it is? Okay, let's go find out! Woohoo! <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! Wow! A piece of construction equipment! And this is a powerful piece of construction equipment. Do you know what machine this is? Yeah! This is a bulldozer! Whoa, it is so powerful. Here, come on! Whoa! This is the blade of the bulldozer. Yeah, the blade pushes anything and everything out of its way. And then it goes flat on the ground and then makes the ground nice and flat. Whoa! Whoa! And how it gets all of its power is right here! Yeah! the engine! And this is the engine compartment. Yeah, it produces a lot of power and a lot of smoke out of the exhaust. Wow, super cool. Hey, do you see these? Huh, this is silly. <laughs> yeah, there's no wheels and tires. That's silly, huh? Oh, these are called tracks. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, 
these metal things go down into the dirt, the gravel, the mud, so then it has really good traction, so then it doesn't slip and slide. <laughs> All right, I think I should take it for a spin. Woohoo! Whoa, so comfortable. All right, first things first, safety first. Perfect. Now that I'm nice and safe with my seatbelt, we can operate the bulldozer. Yeah. You operate a bulldozer. You do not drive a bulldozer. <laughs> okay, see these hand controls? This is how you operate the bulldozer. This one makes you go forward and backward, and this one, yeah. This is what you use to control the blade. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's turn on the key. Woohoo! All right, flip up the safety doodads, and here we go. Whoa, check it out. Whoa. Woohoo. All right. Whoa. was fun. <laughs> that was awesome. Wow, what a powerful machine. Did you see that big blade up front? Yeah, it's so good and powerful. It pushes anything and everything out of its way. Our first vehicle was a bulldozer. They are such an important piece of equipment and help clear the way. Hmm, can you guess what this next vehicle is? Let's go check it out. Let me give you some hints on what piece of machinery we're gonna learn about. Okay, it's a machine that loves to dig. Yeah, it typically has tracks. Yeah, has an arm and a boom and a bucket. Digs big holes and it starts with the letter E. <laughs> Can you guess it? Okay, here we go.
see that? Yeah! This excavator? Yeah, I was driving and holding this giant log! Wait, did you hear that? Yeah! An excavator! Wow! What a cool machine. This is actually a mini excavator. Yeah, they have small ones like this, and they have big ones like that! Wow! Hey, did you see I was sitting in the seat? Yeah, this is the cab of the excavator. Wow, there's so many controls in there. Oh, so cool. Hey, and look down here. Wow. Yeah, just like a bulldozer, this excavator has tracks. But a bulldozer's tracks are metal. And these, yeah, they're rubber, like tires. Wow, that is really cool. The cab can swing around. Yeah, did you see me swing around? Whoa, so cool. Oh, and up here, wow. It's hard to see because the bucket is right here. But this is the blade. Just like a bulldozer, this excavator has a blade to flatten things out and push things out of its way. And where this log is sitting, yeah, this is the bucket of the excavator. Wow, this bucket has some big teeth. Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, and look at this. This kind of looks like a big tooth. But this is actually called a thumb. Wow, the thumb is used to grab things, just like this log. Whoa. And all this, this is the arm and the boom, which then can lift up, swing around, and use the bucket to dig. Yeah, I think I should hop on in and do some digging. Woohoo! I'm an excavator, excavator, hey dirt, see you later, I'm an excavator, I've got a great big arm and a great big boom, if I start digging now I'll be done real soon, I'm a dirt separator, I'm an excavator. Doug. Wow, so cool. Hey, and look at this big pile of dirt. Wow, I love dirt. Yeah, because it's fun to play around in and it's the per perfect home for some plants. Woohoo! Here we go. Here you go, plants. Woohoo! <laughs> wow, excavators are awesome. Yeah! Wasn't that excavator so cool? I love getting to dig things up. And an excavator makes it so easy and fun. Whoa! That sure was fun learning about that excavator today, wasn't it? Yeah! You can dig some massive holes with the excavator. And since it doesn't have wheels and tires, it has tracks. Yeah, you never get stuck. Yeah! Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-B.
P-P-P-I, Blippi. Good job. See you again. Bye-bye. Hello, it's me, Blippi. And look at where we are. Today, we're at the Leavenworth Reindeer Farm. And you and I are gonna learn about, yeah, reindeer. Oh, check it out! Yeah, look at what I have! <laughs> this is reindeer food! Whoa! And we are about to feed the reindeer! Whoa! Have fun, Blippi! Thank you! Oh! Hey, check it out! Here's a couple reindeer right here! Hello, you two! How are you two doing? <laughs> Alright, here, let's go in here! Okay! Wow, the reindeer are getting up. <laughs> this one must be hungry. Hey, there you go. Wow. Oh, maybe it's not that hungry. <laughs> That's okay. We'll keep hanging out in here. Whoa, look at who it is. Yeah. We met this one a long time ago. This is Sven. Yeah. Hey, do you see how he only has one antler? Here you go. Yeah. Reindeer actually lose their antlers every single year. Oh, yeah. The males and the females lose their antler. But say, for example, a white-tailed deer, only the males do. Whoa, that is a big antler, Sven. Here you go, you want some more? Whoa, there you go, okay. How about I go share some of this with your friends, huh? Okay, let's go back here. All right, reindeer. Uh -huh. Whoa, <laughs> check it out. Here's a turkey over here. Hey, turkey, how are you? It's me, Blippi. Whoa, that turkey is so cute. Okay, all right. There's a lot of reindeer up here. Whoa! Sven must be really hungry. Oh, hey, are you hungry too? There you go. You can have some. Oh, you want some of Sven's? Here you go. <laughs> yeah, this time of year, I'm feeding them some reindeer food. And also in the morning times, they love lichen. Yeah, it's what's on all the trees around here. It's kind of like moss. Pretty cool, huh? Whoa. Yeah, and last time we were here, we fed them willow. Yeah, but there's no willow this time of year. So that's why they love reindeer food. <laughs> okay, how about we go share with your friends? Come on. Oh, hey, you haven't had any yet. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, I love your antlers. Whoa. Do you see how I'm really comfortable with reindeer? Yeah. One reason is because they don't bite you. They are really nice. <laughs> oh. Whoa. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did you see that one? It just shook. Oh, here you go. Hey, you want some? Are you hungry? Yeah. No? Okay, but this one sure is. <laughs> wow. You two are so cute. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is Freya. She is really hungry. Hey. And I got permission to pet Freya back here. Oh, wow. She is so soft. Whoa, here you go. Whoa, Whoa check it out. It says eggs. Whoa, there's a lot of chickens and birds and turkeys around here. Let's go inside. Yeah, we are now in the chicken coop. Hello, chickens. Hey, whoa, they have some really good balance. 
Oh, check this out. Wow. Look at that chicken. Oh, are you laying eggs? Whoa. And check out down here. Wow. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of eggs right there. Let's count them. One. Two. Three. Four. Five eggs. Yeah, good job. Oh, hey, look at what it is. Yeah. This is a turkey. Whoa, gobble, gobble. <laughs> Turkeys are so cool. Look at all the big feathers on its back. Ooh, and then the feathers are sticking up on top. Hey, turkey. I'm not gonna pet the turkey because this turkey does not like to get pet. All right, see you later. Have a good day. Whoa, that was really impressive. Thanks, Flippy. Yeah, hey, I heard that you know a lot about reindeer. Is that true? I do. You huh. wanna see some cool facts? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> I am so excited to hear some facts about reindeer. So check this out. Big Sven that you saw up there earlier. This is the second antler he ever grew as a one-year-old. Wow, that is a massive antler. Whoa! You think this one's big. You should see that one. That's the third one he ever grew as a two-year-old. Whoa! This antler is massive! Whoa! And it is really heavy. So you said that Sven grew this as a two-year-old and he grew that one as a one-year-old? Yes, he did. Antlers grow back each year on a reindeer between four and a half months time almost up to an inch a day actually it's the fastest growing organism on an animal wow that is so cool so reindeers grow this from their head in only a matter of months that is so cool do you know any other cool reindeer facts yeah you should see their feet they have big hoof and it makes up three different tools for them a snowshoe a snow shovel to help them dig for food in the winter, and a paddle because they're excellent swimmers. They can swim up to 6.2 miles an hour. Wow, that is really fast. I wish my feet were that useful. That is so cool. Well, hey, thank you so much for teaching us facts about reindeer. And thanks for having us at your reindeer farm. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> this is Gandalf. Whoa, he is so big. Whoa. Gandalf is a Percheron draft horse. And actually, this type of horse, yeah, every single one of them is born the color black. But as they get older, they might stay black, or they might go gray, or they might go like what Gandalf is, the color white. <laughs> hey, Gandalf. <laughs> Who it is? This is Sven. Hey Sven, how are you? Yeah. Wow. Sven is a Belgian draft horse and he is so big. Whoa. Hey. And look at what he has on him. This is called a collar right here. Yeah. It goes around Sven's neck. Whoa. And actually, they make the collars just like how they used to. The same way. Yeah. It's actually filled with a bunch of hay really compacted in there. That is so cool. Oh, hey, check these out. These are lines. Yeah, and they go all the way back to the Visa V carriage. Check it out. Yeah, the Visa V carriage. I actually heard downtown Leavenworth has some beautiful lights. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> 
over the sky? Hmm, is that? No, it can't be. Is that Santa Claus? <laughs> wow, there are so many reindeer. This is awesome. <laughs> Santa sleigh, Santa sleigh, riding through the sky. Santa sleigh, Santa sleigh, watch him passing by. Santa sleigh, Santa sleigh, delivering the toys. Santa sleigh, Santa sleigh, now that makes a noise. Have you ever wondered when you wake up Christmas morning, who dropped off all these gifts while I was very busy snoring? Must be Santa, must be Santa, traveling the world, bringing lots of toys to all the boys and all the girls. But how can he deliver all these presents in one night? With his super special sleigh that jingles on its flight, through the air he holds the reins to keep the sleigh on track, keeping all the presents safe in one big Christmas sack. Santa sleigh, Santa sleigh, riding through the sky. Santa sleigh, Santa sleigh, watch him passing by. Santa sleigh, Santa sleigh, delivering the toys. Santa sleigh, Santa sleigh, now then make some noise. To help him pull the sleigh, he has his friendly, trusty reindeer. They help him to go fast and break, make turns, reverse and steer. So make sure when you leave some milk, you leave a carrot too. These magic reindeer need a snack that they can also chew. Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Fix, and Comet are their names. Then Cupid, Donner, Blitz, and Rudolph playing reindeer games. With your gifts on board, they travel guided by a light. If you hear a ho, 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 you're catching them in flight. Santa sleigh, Santa sleigh, riding through the sky. Santa sleigh, Santa sleigh, watch him passing by. Santa sleigh, Santa sleigh, delivering the toys. Santa sleigh, Santa sleigh, now then make some noise. That was so much fun at the Leavenworth Reindeer Farm. Oh, I love reindeer. I love horses. I love chickens and I love all the things we learned about today here. Did you have fun? Yeah, me too. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Flippy! Good job! Alright, bye bye Hey, hey! It's me, Flippy! I'm just out on a walk. And hey, did you notice the ground is really wet? Yeah! It must have rained here recently. Maybe today you and I can learn about rain, weather, rainbows, and walks! Weather can sure be very unpredictable. Yeah! Hey, if it's sunny, you might need a tank top. If it's cold, you might want a stocking cap. <laughs> but if it's about to rain, you definitely want some rain gear on. Woohoohoohoo! Check it out! Yeah, I got my rain jacket on. Whoa, it's fully waterproof. So even if it pours down tons of rain, yeah, I will stay really dry. And I got my matching bottoms on. Yeah, what color's my outfit? Yeah, it's the color yellow, just like the sun. Where's the sun? I don't know. <laughs> but hey, check out my boots. Yeah, I have black rubber boots on. <laughs> and the last thing that I'm missing, yeah, let's go find an umbrella. <laughs> Okay, let me put my hood on. Wow, it's really starting to rain. All right, check it out. An orange umbrella. Let's open it up. Whoa! 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 Now there's no rain hitting me at all. Wow! Okay, 
Let's put this one away. What's this next one? Yeah, the first umbrella was really small. And this one, whoa, is so big. Whoa, whoa, check it out. Whoa, whoa. What color is this umbrella? Yeah, blue and white. Woohoo! Whee! Okay, let me put this down before I fly away. Okay, and for this umbrella, whoa! Check it out! Yeah, another big umbrella. And the colors of this umbrella are. Whoa! It is so stormy out! Yeah! It is white and green! Woohoo! Let's go! <laughs> wow! I love the rain! The cool thing about rain gear is you can even splash in the puddles and streams that were created by the rain, and you won't even get wet! Yeah, this is my rain collector. I set this out earlier before it started to rain. And then all this rain collected from the top. Do you see how much it says? Wow. Yeah, it says about two inches. Yeah, that's just over five centimeters of rain. Wow, that's a lot of rain. Okay, I'm gonna pour it back onto our planet Earth. Because when the rain falls on our planet, it's really good for it. It helps keep all the plants nice and moist and our oceans nice and full. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> hey, check it out! Yeah, these are my rainbow oculars. Yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah, they're the colors of the rainbow. Have you ever seen a rainbow before? Yeah, they love to come out after it rained. Yeah, a rainbow is an arch of colors made by light and water. Let's see if we can find one. Oh, 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 a rainbow. rain come from? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> okay, let's start with water in a pond, or a stream, or the ocean. Yeah, water is a liquid at this time and place. And then water goes what's called evaporation. Yeah, evaporation is when the water becomes these little tiny particles and goes up in the air. Yeah, it turns into a gas. It goes up in the air and then turns into some clouds. Whoa! Yeah! Clouds are awesome! Whoa, look at that cloud. That cloud looks like a piggy. 
Oink, 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 oink. Look at that cloud. That cloud looks like a T-Rex. <laughs> wow. And then all this gas water starts to come closer and closer and closer. Yeah, and those clouds start to form into liquid water again. Yeah, and then rain starts to fall. Whoa, yeah, it's raining. <laughs> Whoa, and then they create puddles and streams and ponds and the water goes back into the ocean again. And then the cycle goes over and over and again and again. Wow, that water cycle is so great. Woohoo! <laughs> Today's weather forecast, sunny skies in the morning, followed by storms in the afternoon. Don't forget your umbrella. The morning looks nice. Lots of sunshine, clouds of white, and a bright blue sky. But the sky's turning gray, there's wind and some rain. It looks like it's gonna be a stormy day. Weather, weather, all kinds of weather. Like sunny, breezy, cloudy, warm, pleasant days. Weather, weather, all kinds of weather. Like windy, rainy, stormy, hot, muggy days A lightning bolt, that thundering sound There's a storm coming any moment now Tornadoes, hurricanes and floods Sometimes weather can be dangerous Weather, weather, all kinds of weather Like sunny, breezy, cloudy, warm, pleasant days Weather, weather, all kinds of weather Like windy, rainy, stormy, hot, muggy days And when it's really, really cold Snowflakes will fall from the sky Everything goes quiet And everything is covered in white Hey, the rain has stopped And the sun's shining again Icy blizzard, cold, frigid days. Weather, weather, all kinds of weather. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B L I P P I. Flippy. Good job. All right. See you later. Bye bye. Hey, it's me, Whippy. And today we're here in London, England. <laughs> and I am so excited because you and I get to go on a red bus tour. Yeah, we're gonna get to sightsee and explore different parts of London. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Check it out! It's a London bus! <laughs> I am so excited to go on a bus tour today. But before we go on a bus tour, we need to learn more about the bus. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> oh, hi, I'm Blippi. What's your name? Hi, my name's Ian. I'm the bus driver. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Ian. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> Whoa, will you show us around the bus? I certainly can. Whoa, okay. Let's take a look. Wow! Look at this bus! It's so big! <laughs> Wow! And do you know what color the London bus is? Hmm, yeah, it's the color red. Wow! <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. It has really big wheels and tires. Whoa, they're so big <laughs> and powerful. <laughs> yeah! Whoa, and look at this. It looks like the back of the bus has a trunk. <laughs> Whoa, what's in the trunk? Uh, Luggage? This is a bonnet. Oh, oh. Under the bonnet in England, it's the engine. Whoa, a bonnet! In England, 
A car or a bus has a bonnet, and in the bonnet is the engine. Oh, that's so interesting. In America, it's called a hood. Yeah, in the hood, under the hood, <laughs> there's the engine. But the hood in America sometimes is in the front. But with this London bus, it's in the back. <laughs> Whoa, can we see the engine? We can. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. It's the London bus engine. Yeah. Wow. It's so big yeah. and looks complicated and it's really warm. Whoa, <laughs> uh, <yeah>. Whoa. <laughs> time to close the bonnet. <laughs> Whoa, Ian, are those windows up at the top? Yep, because it's a double decker bus, there's two floors. A double decker bus, two floors? Whoa, that's just like a building or a house. Ooh. Ian, can we go inside? Yes, we can. Come this way. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I am so excited to go on the double deck. <laughs> the double decker bus. <laughs> Step aboard. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. We're inside the London bus. <laughs> this is awesome. Whoa. <laughs> and look, the ceilings are so low. Oh, my head can touch it. <laughs> And why are the ceilings so low? The ceilings are so low to keep the height of the bus down so you can get under bridges. Oh, well, that makes sense. Yeah, because there's two decks. You don't want to make the bus too tall. <laughs> oh, Dan, is it okay if I sit behind the wheel? Yes, you can sit in the cab. Oh, whoa! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> well, Ian, did you call this the cab? The cab, yes. Whoa! The cab, that is awesome! Hey, do you know another vehicle that also has a cab? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's an excavator. That's where you control all the, the scoop and the bucket and the boom. <laughs> yeah! Whoa! This cab is really cool. Well, we have the steering wheel. And Ian, what's this? This is your gear stick to change gear. Whoa! <laughs> and are these also gear sticks? That's part of it. This is so you have to pull that down to put it into reverse so you don't accidentally put it in. Whoa! <laughs> you don't want to go backwards <laughs> accidentally. <laughs> Whoa! And uh, where do you put the key? Uh, there's no key start on this one. Oh, so do you just press this button? Uh, yeah, you push the start button. Whoa! <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, look! And this lever, is that the... It's a handbrake. Handbrake? <laughs> yeah! There's a button for the doors. Ooh! And I think I know what yeah, this button does. <laughs> Is it okay if I press it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Ian, is it okay if I explore more of the bus? Yeah, of course you can. Give me a shout when you're ready. Okay. <laughs> wow, this London bus is awesome. Whoa, and look at the seats. They're a reddish brown. Yeah, burgundy. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Whoa! And look at the windows! Yeah! Do you remember? Windows are really big! So you can see all the sights of London! <laughs> Whoa! Hey! I bet we can get an even better view on the upper deck! <laughs> Let's go up the stairs! Come on! Whoa! Check it out! We're on the upper deck of the London bus. Whoa. You can see everything from up here. <laughs> Whoa. 360 degrees. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. I'm a little bit dizzy now. <laughs> I'm so excited to go on the London bus tour. Yeah. Whoa. You see this? Binoculars. <laughs> Hello. I can see everything with these. <laughs> hey! And a sightseeing guide and a map. <laughs> wow, I think we're all ready to go, Ian. <laughs> Whoa! Look at that building! It's so big! <laughs> wow! It's called the Shard, and it's the tallest building in England. <laughs> yeah, it's so tall! And it's made up of triangles. It's not like a normal tall building or skyscraper that's made up of rectangles or squares. Mm -mm. It has really big triangles. <laughs> Hello, Shard. <laughs> Hello. Hey, we're here on Palm Mall. 
Whoa! <laughs> this is a road that is very famous. Yeah, and I was looking with my binoculars and I saw a palace. <laughs> we definitely need to get closer to this palace. Ooh, I can't wait. Hmm. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Here we go. Whoa! I'm having so much fun on the London bus tour. And look at where I'm at. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, it's Buckingham Palace. This is where Queen Elizabeth II lives. Whoa! <laughs> it's so beautiful. Do you see the fence? Yeah, the fence is the color black and the color gold. Whoa! It's so pretty. Hey, and look, there's a flag flying at the top. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know there are two kinds of flags that can be flown there? Yeah, there's a Union Jack, which means the Queen is not home. And there's a Royal Standard, which means the Queen is home. <laughs> wow. Oh, and do you see these people? Yeah, on the other side, there are Royal Guards. <laughs> they are so cool and have really big fuzzy hats. <laughs> wow, this is so awesome. I want to get a better view. Come on. Whoa, this has been so much fun here in Buckingham Palace. Do you hear something? Clip, clop, clip, clop. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like horses. Hmm. Whoa, check it out. There are horses. Whoa, and not any kind of horse. They look like they're very royal. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, look at that. Whoa, they're all in red and they have golden helmets. This is so cool. Yeah, it looks like we're here for the changing of the guards. Whoa. <laughs> Hello, horses. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that was so cool seeing all of those horses. <laughs> yeah, they were so royal, red and gold. It was beautiful. <laughs> this is so much fun watching the changing of the guards. Do you hear something? Yeah, it sounds like music. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder who's playing the music. Whoa, check it out. It's a marching band. Yeah. Marching bands have so many instruments and play really loud music. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> hey, why don't you and I march along to the marching band? like a royal guard. Yeah. Do you see? They're wearing robes or jackets, coats <laughs> that are gray. Yeah. They're wearing gray coats and they have fuzzy black hats. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Ooh, that was so nice listening to beautiful music. <laughs> wow. We've had so many amazing things we got to see. I wonder what we'll see next. <laughs> Wow, there are so many amazing things to see around Buckingham Palace. Do you see what's behind me? It's Canada Gate on the edge of Green Park. Whoa, and do you hear that? It sounds like another band is coming. Let's get a better view. <laughs> Whoa, that was awesome. We listened to the first band and now the second band is playing a new song. And this song feels majestic. <laughs> so majestic, it makes me want to dance. Whoa. It looks like they're on the other side. We'll be coming around soon. <laughs> Keep your eyes and your ears open. Whoa, the band is leaving. Look at them. Hello. They look so cool with their instruments and their coats. Wow, look at them marching away. 
This was so much fun learning about the changing of the guards. It looks so cool. Oh, and they're marching so well together. Look at them march. <laughs> oh, and there's police officers on horses. <laughs> oh. Wow, that was amazing. The guards are marching away. Bye-bye. <laughs> and I think it's about time we march away. Back to the bus. Come on. Wow, it's St. Paul's Cathedral. Whoa, it's so beautiful. Yeah, it has a really beautiful architecture. Yeah, beautiful architecture is just a fancy way of saying really pretty designs. Someone did a good job building this building. Yeah, look, it's covered in all kinds of statues and shapes. Yeah, look, it has arches, triangles, whoa. Rectangles, squares, and do you see those columns? Yeah, those columns are cylinders. <laughs> Whoa, do you know the shape of the top of the building? Yeah, that's called a dome. And on the top of the dome, covered in gold. Ooh, <laughs> gold so fancy. <laughs> wow, it is such a beautiful building. It's so old. Hey. Maybe we can learn more about architecture and other really cool designs by seeing some other buildings. <laughs> Ooh. Well, look, it's Falgar Square. And look, it's Nelson's column. <laughs> it's 169 feet tall. And Nelson at the top, hello, Nelson. He is 16 feet tall. Whoa, he's so big. <laughs> well, look, there's lions. Yeah, four lions right around him. Rah, rah. <laughs> Whoa, look! It's a construction vehicle! Hello! Whoa! <laughs> wow, that was awesome! <laughs> Whoa! Look at it! We're about to cross Tower Bridge! Yeah! Whoa! It's a really old and really long bridge! Yeah, it's 800 feet long! And it's called Tower Bridge because. Look, <laughs> there's a tower in the middle. Wow. Yeah, a bridge like Tower Bridge is a bascule bridge. <laughs> yeah, that means that the bridge can open up. Whoa. It can open up and that lets really big boats float under it <laughs> so that the mast or other parts of the boat don't get hurt. <laughs> wow. Look at it. This is amazing. <laughs> This bridge is really cool. It's made out of stone and metal. Oh, look, and it's blue and white. Wow, and it has some red on it too. <laughs> Bye-bye, Tower Bridge. Bye-bye. <laughs> Whoa, I'm having so much fun on the Red Bus Tour. Yeah, we're seeing so many different things here in England. <laughs> Whoa. but. All this touring is making me really hungry. Hey, why don't you and I try some food from here? <laughs> okay, we need to stop and go try some yummy, delicious food. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! We've seen so many amazing places on the bus tour, but I'm getting a little bit chilly. <laughs> hey, let's go inside to get warm and maybe get a bite to eat. Come on! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, it's so cozy in here. <laughs> it was a little chilly outside, so it's always nice to go inside to get warm. Wow, look, there's a fireplace. <laughs> Hello. Oh, it's so nice being here in London, but I'm getting a little bit hungry. <laughs> Hello there. Oh, hi, what's your name? My name is Simon. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Simon. I'm Flippy. <laughs> Would you like to have a sit and try some traditional food? Whoa, I would love to. Thank All right. you. <laughs> wow, I can't believe it. I'm here in London and I'm going to try some traditional British food. Whoa, what's this, Simon? This is a fish and chips served with mushy peas and tartar sauce. Whoa, fish and chips? <laughs> that sounds so delicious. Huh. But I don't see any potato chips. Oh, I just see French fries. Here in England, we call them chips. And you're feeling adventurous? Try with vinegar. Whoa, <laughs> that sounds so tasty. Thanks, Simon. Enjoy. 
Wow! Huh, that's so interesting. In the United States, we call French fries French fries. But here in the UK, they call them chips. Oh, yeah. And look, they're a little bit thicker than a French fry you might find in America. <laughs> okay, time to dig in. <laughs> hmm, where to start? Hmm, I think we should listen to Simon and get some vinegar. <laughs> yeah, we'll take some vinegar <laughs> and pour it over the food. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> And it looks like there's a lemon. <laughs> we should try some of the lemon too. Whoa! <laughs> that was fun. Time to dig in. Hmm. Woo! Oh, and I almost forgot. We need to use some of the tartar sauce. Yeah. Okay. Dip a little in. Whoa! <laughs> that is so tasty! <laughs> I think I'm gonna take another bite. Oh, but wait, we forgot about the chips. Hmm. Woo! <laughs> I've eaten french fries before, but I've never had a chip from London. Hmm. That is so delicious. Yeah, it's a chip with vinegar, but I think we can try it with the mushy peas. Yeah, see? It's peas, but they've been mashed. Kind of like mashed potatoes, <laughs> but peas. Mm. Mm. Whoa, that was so tasty. Yeah, peas are vegetables, and these vegetables are so sweet and tasty. <laughs> oh. Hey, would you mm. like to try something else? Mm-hmm. Mm. The fish and chips were delicious. Yeah. Glad you enjoyed. <laughs> Thank you. There Whoa. you are. Look at this. It's another traditional British dish. There are potatoes and cabbage. Hmm. Simon, what's this? This is a chicken, ham and leek pie. Whoa. Thanks. Enjoy. <laughs> it's a pie, but this pie has chicken in it. Yeah. It's not a sweet pie. It's a savory pie. <laughs> yeah, savory means it's not sweet. It might be a little salty. You can eat it for your meal. <laughs> Whoa, and do you see this? Gravy. <laughs> it's time for a gravy party. Woo, here we go. Whoa, <laughs> here we go. Whoa. <laughs> Woo, Woo. <laughs> that looks so tasty. <laughs> I'm gonna eat this with a fork and a knife. But make sure you have a grown-up help you with a knife. <laughs> you don't wanna use a knife by yourself. <laughs> okay, here we go. We'll try some potatoes. Yeah, these are mashed potatoes, but in London, they're just called mash. <laughs> oh, that is so good, and the gravy is so tasty. Hmm, maybe we should try some cabbage. Yeah, cabbage is really good for you because it's green. Did you know that? Some foods are green. Yeah, a lot of times they're vegetables and really healthy. <laughs> Here we go. Yum, <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> and now the main event, the pie. <laughs> oh. Here we go, time to break it open. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, this looks like a really big bite. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Whoa, that is so delicious. It's so salty and it's so tasty. Yeah, it has a flaky crust like a pastry, but it has a salty and amazing flavor on the inside. <laughs> Whoa. I really like sweet pies, and I really like British pies. <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna take another bite. <laughs> Do you still have room for desserts? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Whoa, Simon, these have been so tasty. Thank oh. you. <laughs> You're welcome. There you are. 
Simon, what are these desserts? So over here, you've got a sticky toffee pudding. Whoa. And <laughs> just in here, uh, apple and blackberry crumble. Wow, that sounds delicious. <laughs> and Thanks. Wow, look at it. Yeah, do you see this? This is called sticky toffee pudding. Wait a minute, this doesn't look like pudding. It looks more like maybe a muffin or a cake. Yeah, that's because in London, in the England, yeah, they call pudding mm, something else. But they call this, yeah, pudding. It kind of looks like a cake. It looks so delicious. And it looks like it has a caramel sauce too. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh, time to try the desserts. <laughs> gonna need a fork and mm, I'm gonna try it with a spoon. Okay, here we go. <laughs> First, maybe just the spoon. <laughs> Whoa. And I want a little bit of ice cream. Ooh. <laughs> mm. Mm. Wow, that's so tasty. The flavor is so interesting. Yeah, it tastes like toffee and it tastes like caramel and it's nice and warm. <laughs> but it's so tasty with cold ice cream. <laughs> Ooh, it's time to try the next dessert. This one is really fruity and it's colorful. Oh. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> so yummy looking. Do you know what color that is? Yeah, it's the color red. And the crumble on top, it looks kind of like a yellowish, maybe khaki color. <laughs> okay, choo choo. Ah. Whoa, that is so delicious. Hmm. That is not what I expected it to taste like. Yeah. It's really sweet, but it's another flavor. It's sweet and sour. <laughs> yeah, it's really tart. Ooh, <laughs> it's so good. I definitely need another bite of this. Would you like a tea to finish your meal? Whoa, tea? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Normally, I would be finished with my meal, but tea is a great way to end it. <laughs> well, thank you. You're welcome. Whoa. <laughs> Thanks, Simon. This is so tasty. <laughs> wow. Tea is really, really tasty. And it's something really fun to do when you're in England. Yeah. Look, we have a teacup and a little spoon and a teapot. <laughs> Time to pour some tea. Whoa, whoa, look at it go! <laughs> wow, this tea looks so beautiful. You see, it has such a pretty color, and I bet it's really tasty. But be careful, it's also really hot. Oh, <laughs> so silly, I forgot something. When you're in England, they don't just, just drink tea. Sometimes it's very good and tasty add a little milk. Here we go. And once you add your milk or whatever else you want to put in your tea, you can stir it up. <laughs> ah, so tasty. <laughs> Uh-oh, I drank all the tea. <laughs> I guess I'll have to pour some more. <laughs> wow, it is so much fun trying new foods and new drinks and being able to explore London. <laughs> wow, that was so awesome. We tried so many amazing and delicious foods. Wow. Let's go to the next place. Whoa, check it out. That building looks just like a walkie talkie. <laughs> That's funny because it's called the walkie talkie. Hello, <laughs> look at where we are, Downing Street, yeah. And this is a very important place because 10 Downing Street is where the prime minister lives. Whoa, yeah, see, right behind that black gate. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> the prime minister is a very important person in England. Yeah, 
very important to the government. The Prime Minister in England is kind of like the President in America. Whoa! <laughs> this is so cool! It's almost like we're outside the English White House. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Look at what it is! The British Museum! Wow! This place is amazing! Yeah, look! The outside is so beautiful with big columns! Yeah! Columns? Do you know what shape a column is? It's a cylinder! <laughs> and inside is even cooler! Yeah! Inside the British Museum, there are 8 million objects! Whoa! <laughs> That's a lot of objects! Ooh! I can't wait to go inside and see what there is! Hmm! <laughs> Well, maybe another time. We're too busy sightseeing on the bus tour. <laughs> I can't wait to go somewhere else. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, look at where we are. Piccadilly Circus. <laughs> yeah, but this isn't a circus. <laughs> no, there's no animals or clowns here. No, it's called Piccadilly Circus because it's a roundabout. Yeah, that means it's a big circle. <laughs> big circle to drive around. So they call it Piccadilly Circus. Circus. Circle. <laughs> Whoa. Bye bye. Bye bye, Piccadilly Circus. <laughs> Whoa. Check it out. It's a giant Ferris wheel. <laughs> Whoa. It's so big. <laughs> it's fun looking through my binoculars, but let's go up and stop and take a closer look. <laughs> Come on. Whoa, check it out! It's the giant Ferris wheel! This Ferris wheel is called the London Eye! Yeah, it's so big! Whoa! <laughs> well, actually, this Ferris wheel isn't a Ferris wheel, it's an observation wheel. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, an observation wheel helps you observe things so you can observe all of London. <laughs> Did you know that observe is just another word for looking? Woo! <laughs> and I love looking around London. <laughs> Whoa! And look, there are different places for you to sit. And it moves really slowly in a circle. <laughs> yeah! And it gives you time to see everything. Did you know that there are 32 compartments for you to sit? Yeah, 32 for the 32 boroughs in London. Did you know boroughs is just another name for neighborhood? There are 32 neighborhoods and 32 compartments. I think we should count them all. <laughs> One, two, three, four. <laughs> Maybe it's too many to count right now. <laughs> wow. And do you notice anything else? Whoa, there are so many shapes. Yeah, the London Eye is a giant circle. <laughs> but if you look at the face, it's a triangle. One, two, three sides. <laughs> wow, the London Eye is so amazing, but we better get back on the bus and go see some other sights. Come on. Whoa, look at what's behind me. It's Hyde Park, <laughs> yeah. Do you see all the trees? Yeah, did you know that there are over 4,000 trees there? <laughs> That's a lot of trees. It's so green, but right now it doesn't look very green. No, that's because of the seasons. Yeah, the leaves are green during the year, but during fall, they start to change color. Then they turn brown, <laughs> whoa. And then they fall off the tree during winter. <laughs> yeah, and you can see all the trees. Yeah, the leaves are turning brown, getting ready to fall off for winter. <laughs> Whoa, look at it. It looks like a castle. Yeah, it's made of stones, it has a moat. Whoa, it looks so historic. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> it's so cool being here in England. Yeah, everything is so old and looks so cool. Oh, let's stop and take a closer look. <laughs> Whoa. It's been so much fun riding around on a bus with you, but I wanted to hop off to get a closer look at this castle. Yeah, it looks just like a castle and it's called the Tower of London. Yeah, and it's a fortress, a really big fortress. <laughs> hmm. And do you notice anything? 
Mmm, <laughs> yeah. Do you see those animals? Do you know what kind of animal that is? <laughs> yeah. They're lions. Hey, let's act like lions. <laughs> I am so excited to go inside the Tower of London and explore. And keep your eyes open looking for any other animals we might find. <laughs> Come on. Whoa! Come on, let's go explore! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Whoa, look at this place! It's so big! <laughs> yeah! And the towers are so tall! <laughs> look at this! Yeah, the walls inside the Tower of London really tall. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Whoa! Look at this! <laughs> it looks like someone was carrying some treasure. Ooh. Whoa! Look! <laughs> coins! Hmm. But these coins aren't gold. <laughs> They're brown. <laughs> Look, that's so interesting. This table has coins, bags of coins, and bowls of coins. Hmm, I wonder why. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Do you see all the coins? Yeah, we had the carts with chests of coins. We had the big chests filled with coins and a table covered in coins. Yeah. This area is even called Mint Street. <laughs> and that's not because this place tastes like peppermint. <laughs> no! No, because this is where they made coins. Yeah, that's what you say. They minted the coins. Or they made the coins. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! This place is amazing! It's so big and so old. <laughs> hey, do you see any other animals around? Hmm. There's an animal behind me. <laughs> Whoa, there is. It's a polar bear. Whoa. Did you know that a polar bear, a real life polar bear used to live here? <laughs> yeah. He would swim around in the moat <laughs> and eat lots of yummy fish. <laughs> hey, we can be polar bears, but we have to pretend like it's really cold outside. <laughs> That's pretty silly. <laughs> hey, I bet we can find even more animals. Come on. Whoa, I did it. <laughs> I found another animal. Whoa. <laughs> Do you know what kind of animal that is? Yeah, it's an elephant. And it has one, two tusks. Yeah. Woo. And it has a really big trunk. <laughs> Woo. 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 <laughs> hey, will you act like an elephant with me? OK, take your arm and make it an elephant's trunk. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> this place is so much fun! Whoa! We've seen so many animals. Do you see any others? <laughs> yeah! Wow! Do you see at the top of the stairs there? There are some ravens. Whoa! Do you know what sound a raven makes? <laughs> yeah! They caw! And they're the color black. Did you hear that? Yeah, that's a raven cawing. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, and all the animals we've seen so far were just pieces of artwork. <laughs> but these ravens are real. Whoa. Hello, ravens. <laughs> Whoa, look at where we are. <laughs> we're in a bedroom. <laughs> We've had so much fun exploring and seeing all kinds of animals. 
But did you know that people used to live in castles? Yeah, all kinds of people. <laughs> and guess what kind of person lived in this bedroom? <laughs> the king! <gasps> We're inside the king's bedroom. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, and this bedroom was from a really long time ago. <laughs> it's a little different from a bedroom you might have today. Well, look at this. Do you see what this is? Yeah, they're candles. Back then, they didn't have lights or electricity. <laughs> you couldn't flip a switch. No, they had candles. <laughs> and that's why it's a little bit dark and a little bit spooky in here. <laughs> Whoa! And check it out! It's the king's bed! <laughs> it's so fancy! Look! It has curtains! And it even has a roof! What? A roof on a bed? <laughs> it looks really cozy though! Yeah, because it would be really cold in here! <laughs> Whoa! Speaking of cozy, look at this fireplace! Whoa! <laughs> it's so big! Yeah, a bedroom like this could get really cold. So cold that a polar bear lives outside. <laughs> so you needed a fireplace like this to keep you nice and warm. <laughs> and when you were done being warm, you could go to work and have a very nice kingly desk <laughs> to write notes to very important people. <laughs> wow, this place is so cool, but we better get back to the bus. <laughs> Whoa, look at where we are. It's Royal Albert Hall. <laughs> Whoa. This is a really big hall where they perform music. Yeah, they have a massive organ inside. Yeah, an organ is a type of instrument. <laughs> it's really big and really heavy. Yeah, it's kind of like a piano, but it has pipes that play the sounds. Wow, <laughs> it is so cool. Yeah. And this organ in Royal Albert Hall weighs 165 tons. Whoa! And has 9,999 pipes. Doot, 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 doot. <laughs> you can play a lot of music with those pipes. Yeah. You can come to London and you can listen to beautiful music by going to see an orchestra. Have you ever seen someone play music before? Whoa, that's so cool. Maybe you saw a piano <laughs> or a clarinet or maybe a violin. <laughs> Music is so fun. <laughs> and I'm having so much fun exploring and looking at all these amazing buildings. <laughs> Whoa, look at what it is. It's Westminster Abbey. Wow, it's so beautiful. This building is really important because this is where kings and queens were crowned. <laughs> yeah, all the way since 1066. Whoa, <laughs> it's so old and so royal. <laughs> yeah, this building also has really beautiful architecture. Oh, <laughs> that's a big word, architecture. That's another word for a really pretty design. Yeah, whoever designed and built this building did a great job. <laughs> Do you see? There's so many shapes. Look, in the center, there's a triangle. Whoa! And on the sides, there are one, two, circles. And the towers are rectangles. Yeah! <laughs> Wow, this is pretty cool. We want to see if we can find some awesome buildings to explore here in London. Let's get back on the bus. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, I'm having so much fun on this bus tour. I think I'm ready to sing a song. Hmm, well, what song should we sing? Well, we're on a bus. We're driving around really fast. I know, let's sing The Wheels on the Bus, <laughs> yeah! The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, through London town. The driver of the bus says sit up top, sit up top, sit up top. The driver of the bus 
says sit up top on the London bus. What can we see? A big town, a big town, a big town. What can we see? A big town atop the London bus. At Buckingham Palace we see the guard, see the guard, see the guard. At Buckingham Palace we see the Double-decker bus drives near and far, near and far, near and far. The double-decker bus drives near and far through London town. From the top of the bus, see the London Eye, London Eye, London Eye. From the top of the bus, see the London Eye in London town. The wheels on the bus go round and round. On the bus go round and round through London town. Bye bye, London. I'll be back soon. Wow, that was awesome. I had so much fun today going on a London bus tour. Saw so many amazing sights and got to explore an amazing city, <laughs> London. Well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? Okay. B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Whoa. Uh-oh. Uh. -oh. uh <laughs> Woo. Woo. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. Whoa. And this is really fun rock climbing, but it's a little tricky. <laughs> hey, that was so much fun. Hey, let's do some awesome exercising. Let's do jumping jacks. Don't forget to stretch. Oh, <laughs> exercising is so much fun. And always remember, after you exercise, to stay hydrated. <laughs> yeah. It's a water bottle. Whoa, this is really important to always have a water bottle after you exercise. <sighs> I'm feeling refreshed already. You know, it's also good to always eat fruits and vegetables and other healthy snacks after you exercise so you can keep your energy to keep on playing. Whoa, I think you and I should play some more. Look at these cool blocks. Whoa, there are so many colors. Red, green, blue, <laughs> yeah! Whoa, that was so much fun! Well, I think it's about time for you and I to eat some healthy snacks. And I know just the place that will have fun and exciting ways to eat fruits and vegetables. How about you and I make some tasty smoothies today? <laughs> yeah! Would you like to come with me? Aw, thanks. <laughs> Let's go. I'll see you there. We're here today at Raw Smoothie Co. in Tampa, Florida. <laughs> yeah, come on. Hmm. I sure wish there was someone here to help us get a healthy snack. Welcome to Raw Smoothie Co. <laughs> hey, it's a person. I bet they can help us find a tasty treat. <laughs> Hello, my name's Blippi. My name is Gian, nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. Well, we've been looking for a really healthy snack. Think you can help us? I think I can. Oh, well, we've been doing a lot of dancing and exercising. Hmm. What do you think would be the best healthy snack? Hmm, I would say a smoothie bowl. Oh, a smoothie bowl? <laughs> yeah! That sounds delicious! Um, but what's a smoothie bowl? A smoothie bowl is an all-organic combination of fruits, vegetables, nutrients, vitamins, and all things healthy. Whoa! That sounds perfect! And we like to try new things, especially if they're healthy. Hey, you know what healthy is, right? Healthy is something that's really good for your body and your muscles. <laughs> 
Yeah. And helped you grow up big and strong. <laughs> yeah, let's try that smoothie bowl. You're not Blippi, come on back. Oh, let's go. <laughs> I'm so excited to make a smoothie bowl. <laughs> hey, Gian. Hey, Blippi. Well, what kind of smoothie bowl are we gonna make? We're gonna make an acai bowl today. An acai, acai. Close, it's acai. Whoa, acai. <laughs> That's pretty tricky. <laughs> Sounds really healthy and tasty, though. It is. It's absolutely amazing for you. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Step one: we got to put on gloves. Okay. We got to make sure we put on the gloves. One glove. Two gloves. <laughs> Great. Next, we got to break up our acai packet. Good. <laughs> That's a really cool hammer. <laughs> now we got to put it in our smoothie canister. Ooh, this will be so tasty when it's all blended up. <laughs> there you go. Oh, look. It's the color purple. Ooh. <laughs> okay, Gian, so what do we do next? Well, we got to put more ingredients in there. Next is banana. Whoa, I love bananas. <laughs> This is gonna make it extra yummy. All right, we're gonna make it really tasty with some agave. Whoa, agave? Have you heard of agave before? <laughs> Me neither. Well, what's that? All right, agave is a really healthy sweetener. It's not like sugar, it's much better for you to come from plants. Ooh, <laughs> great. Okay, so we got bananas, and we got acai, and we got agave. What's next? Well, we gotta finish it off with some almond milk. Ooh, okay. I love almonds. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so where do we go next? Go over here to our ice machine. Grab a little bit of ice. Okay. And then we have to blend. Okay, let's go to the blender. You ready, Blippi? I'm all ready. This is going to be so much fun blending it. And you know what the best thing to do while we pass the time and wait for it to finish getting blended? Dance party! Yeah! That looks so cool! Yep. <laughs> Let's keep going. Now we have to actually build the acai bowl. <sighs> Look at all these really tasty ingredients. There's all kinds of really cool things here. Yeah, we have the acai packet, and we have some spinach. Oh, <laughs> so yummy. And yeah, do you know what this is? Mmm, crunchy granola. Whoa. Hey, and Gion, what are these white little flakes? Those are coconut flakes. Oh, coconuts? Ooh, I love coconuts. These will be really good too. And uh, this is, hmm, what about this? That's healthy chocolate. It's called cacao. Cacao. Whoa, we'll put some of that in too. And what about all these little seeds? Those little buddies are chia seeds and flax seeds. Whoa, I love seeds. <laughs> hey, whoa, I bet these seeds will be really tasty if you're a bird, but they're also really tasty if you want to stay nice and healthy. Whoa, and then, I know what these are. Look, a strawberry, mm. <laughs> and a banana. Well, we should definitely put these in. Okay. All right. Are you ready to build a bowl? I'm all ready. <laughs> all right, we go back to our acai. Okay. First step, let's go ahead and put some granola in there. Next, I gotta grab my spatula over here, and we're gonna go ahead and put the acai in the bowl with the granola. Whoa. It was really hard and frozen, but once we blended it up, look, it looks like a smooth kind of paste. Oh, it almost looks like ice cream. <laughs> yeah, that's so tasty. <laughs> once we get our acai in the bowl, gonna flatten it out, smooth it out, make it look really nice. At Raw Smoothie Co, we're extra healthy, so we put greens and everything. Whoa, what kind of greens are those? Here we have organic spinach. Mmm, spinach, mmm. Spinach makes you really strong. <laughs> All right. Now, 
We're gonna put some coconut flakes on top. Whoa, coconut flakes. <laughs> Remember those from before? Yeah, really tasty stuff. Now, the best part. We gotta put our fruit on top. <laughs> yeah, I love fruit. So what fruits are we gonna put on it? I think we're gonna go with strawberry and banana today. Perfect, okay. All right, so get a scoop of our strawberry. We're gonna put that in here. Oh, that bowl not only looks healthy and delicious, but really, really colorful. <laughs> All right, next step is we gotta put our banana, and for that, we're gonna have to cut it. Okay. Make sure before you use ever a knife, you want to make sure our grown-ups using the knife or you ask permission. Mm -hmm. I'm a professional blippy, so I think I got this. Oh, look at it. He peeled off the banana and now he's cutting it up into slices. Whoa, and it'll fit perfectly in the acai bowl. I'm going to chop it up nice and small. Now we're going to put it in our acai bowl. Get our acai bowl close. Next step, we gotta put our healthy chocolate, cacao. Whoa, look at all that chocolate. <laughs> can I put a little extra chocolate on? You absolutely can. Here, you can go ahead and do the next scoop. Okay, here we go. Let's scoop up some chocolate. Whoa, it's raining chocolate. Yummy. <laughs> oh, that was really good. Last step, Blippi, and then you can almost eat it. It's seeds, you know Whoa, it. Look at all the seeds. Whoa, there's so many seeds. Here we go. It's gonna rain seeds. Whoa, that was so much fun. Is that it? This is it, Blippi, there you go. Whoa, look at this. It's so delicious and colorful. We have the granola and our blended acai. Oh, our delicious toppings! <laughs> yeah! I'm so excited to eat this delicious smoothie bowl. Hey, Gian, this is a smoothie bowl because we use a spoon to eat it and it's in a bowl, but what if I wanted to put this in a cup and drink it through a straw? Well, we can make a smoothie. <gasps> a smoothie? I would love to eat a smoothie! <laughs> yeah! Ooh! Mmm, this looks really tasty. But All right. Think you could teach us how to make a smoothie? Yeah, and actually at Raw Smoothie Co., we'll make a green smoothie, so it's extra healthy. Whoa. I can't wait to make a green smoothie. But first, I want a little bite. So, what's the first step to make a healthy smoothie? First, let's grab our smoothie canister. And so, what are we gonna put inside? Well, let's start with the easiest ingredients to blend. Okay. So, let's start off with our juice. I love juice, especially fruit juice. <laughs> Next, we're gonna put healthy greens in our smoothie. Ooh, I love spinach and healthy greens. Okay. Okay, so what next? I'm gonna let you take care of the next part. Okay, I think we'll, I know what we're gonna do next. We'll put in some fruit. That's right. So go ahead and put in some banana. Okay, here we go. Got some banana. And hmm, put some of this fruit in. Do you know what fruit this is? Yeah, this is a tasty mango. Okay, here we go. And this is one of my favorites. The last fruit we need is some pineapple. <laughs> yeah. Let's put some seeds and then ice it. So just put some seeds in there? Yeah, why don't you throw some seeds in there, Bobby? Okay. Rain and seeds. Okay, let's go on to the next step. All right, let's put some ice in there. Okay, here we go. Here we go. And into the blender. Perfect. <laughs> okay, so now what do we do with it? Now we have to blend it. Okay, here you go. Thank you. <laughs> Are you ready to try your smoothie, Blippi? I am so ready and excited. <laughs> let's try it. Here we go. This looks so tasty. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like the smoothie bowl, but we ate that in a bowl with a spoon. But this one, <laughs> this smoothie, ooh, thanks, Gian, has a straw. Okay, put that in there. Hmm. We'll get the little paper off. Oh, can you help me, Gian? Absolutely. Ooh, 
I am so excited to taste this smoothie. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, this smoothie is so tasty. And it's really healthy too. I'm gonna have another sip. I'll see you soon. Hey! Whoa, that was so much fun learning how to make smoothies at Raw Smoothie Co. <laughs> yeah, they are so tasty. <sighs> and healthy because they're organic. Ooh. <laughs> hey, what's that over there? Ooh, look at it. It says chef's table. Ooh. <laughs> I bet we're gonna eat some yummy foods. <laughs> Whoa, and look at that. It's a picture of a tongue. Bah, bah. <laughs> so silly. Why would there be a picture of a tongue? Hmm. Oh, because our tongue uh, helps us to taste. <laughs> it helps us to taste because our tongue has taste buds. Yeah, and that tells our brain if something is sweet. <laughs> or sour. <laughs> Whoa. Taste test. I bet we're gonna taste all kinds of new foods. <laughs> I'm so excited. Let's go see what we're gonna try. Come on. Whoa, look. We're here at the chef's table. Ooh, and look at all these little containers. Yeah, I bet there's food for us to taste in each one of them. <laughs> Let's start right here. Ooh, look at it. It's a grapefruit. Mm. <laughs> I bet this grapefruit is really tasty. Okay, let's try it. Ooh, that grapefruit tastes really good. Hmm, it tastes kind of bitter. Yeah, not really super sweet, but it doesn't taste bad. It just tastes kind of bitter. Ooh, <laughs> so yummy. Okay, gotta figure out what's in this next container. Let's see. Whoa, <laughs> look at it. Yeah, I bet you know what food this is. It's a yummy pretzel. Mm. <laughs> Let's take a bite. This pretzel is really tasty. Yeah, it's really salty. You see, it's so rough and bumpy because of all the little, little crystals of salt. <laughs> yeah, and that salt tastes really good on my taste buds. Mm. <laughs> bye bye pretzel. <laughs> mm. Oh, <laughs> look at it. This a little triangle. <laughs> yeah, it's a triangle because it has one, two, three sides. Yeah, look at it. <laughs> this triangle is from a watermelon. I can't wait to taste this one. Mmm, this watermelon is really sweet. <laughs> I love foods that are sweet because they make me so happy. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have some more sweet watermelon later. Ooh, okay, we're almost to the end. I'm so excited for this next food. Ooh, this one's a really small one. This is a lime. It's the color green. Let's give it a try. Mmm, ooh, <laughs> woo. This has a really, really, really cool flavor. It's Sour. This lime is so sour. Ooh, it makes my face and body do all kinds of silly shapes. Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna taste it one more time. Woo! <laughs> I really like that sour lime. Woo! I feel so awake. Whoa! <laughs> okay, we're on the last food. Let's see what's inside. Whoa! It's a pepper. Ooh! And it's green, there's an orange pepper, and a red pepper. I think I'm gonna try the orange pepper because it's my favorite color. Okay, here we go. But just take a 
teeny bite. I need to eat some water. Is there any wa water? We gotta find some water. Ooh. We got the water. Oh, better. I like spicy food, but sometimes you need a little water after you eat it because it makes your mouth ooh, so energized. Ooh. Well, this was so much fun. I hope we can taste some more foods together soon. <laughs> Whoa, I had such a fun day with you today. We learned about so many different things, like moving your body is healthy exercise. And it's important to fill your body with really healthy foods and snacks. Mm. <laughs> it's also really fun that we learned how to make smoothies and we taste with our tongue. <laughs> So silly. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> yeah. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Good job. Well, I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Always keep yourself hydrated. <sighs> Hello! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and look at where we're at! Whoa! Yeah, today we're at Moonlight Rollerway in Glendale, California! Woohoo! This is a place where you can roller skate! Woohoo! Yeah! Have you ever roller skated before? Haha! <laughs> it is so much fun! But first, I have someone really important and special to introduce you to. It's Mika, and she is my best friend. Hey, Blippi. Whoa! Hi, everyone. I'm Mika. Yeah! Mika is my best friend. Oh, Blippi, you're my best friend. Oh, Mika, <laughs> you're my best friend. <laughs> hey, Mika, do you want to know what we're going to do today? Yeah. Check it out. Moonlight Rollerway? Really good balance. Yeah, you do. I bet you are gonna do really good. Oh, we'll see. I bet you're gonna do really good. <laughs> All right, let's go. Yeah, come on. between ice skates and roller skates? Yeah, an ice skate has a blade, and roller skates have four wheels, two in the front and two in the back. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Mika. Yeah. Hey, should we go get on our roller skates? Yes, I can't wait. Yeah. Whoa, look at all these skates. Oh, wow, there's so many. Hello. Hi. Hey, who are you? I'm Pedro. Hello, I'm Mika. And I'm Blippi. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. What are you up to? I'm disinfecting these skates. Whoa, oh. disinfecting? Ooh, can I see? Yes, you can. Whoa, check it out. Disinfectant. Whoa. <laughs> that way, it can get all of the germs out of the skates and keep them nice and clean. Yeah, so then they're not really stinky. Oh. Ew, <laughs> ew. <laughs> Here you go, Pedro. Thank you. Whoa. So you really want to go roller skates? What's the first thing we should do? We first need to figure out what size skate you wear. 
Oh. oh. Do you know your shoe size? Do you have big sizes and small sizes, or what size do you have? We have from toddler sizes. Oh, so cute! Whoa. <laughs> Very big sizes. Whoa! Whoa! Check it out! This one's so small. Yeah, and this one's really big. Wow! <laughs> so cool. What's the largest size you have, Pedro? This is the largest one at a 16. Whoa! Up to 16. That's a lot of. Yeah! Will you count to 16 with us? Awesome. Yeah! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen! Yeah! Whoa! Ooh, I got these for you, Mika. Thank you. And these are for you, Blizzard. Ooh, thank you so much, Pedro. Yeah. Wow. Shall we go put on our roller skates? Yes, I can't wait. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Together. Okay. One, two, two three, four. four. Wow. Four wheels. So cool. And what's this up front? Oh, this is the toe stop. It helps you break so you can stop. Wow, cool. Oh, and check this out. Yeah. It looks like we have some brown shoelaces. So then you can tighten it up around your foot so your foot doesn't fall out. Yep, nice, tight, and secure. Whoa. <laughs> and look, it kind of looks like a shoe, but it's not called a shoe. Yeah. It's called a boot. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. But before we go out and skate, we should probably get on our safety gear. Yeah, safety gear. Oh. What do you have, Ruby? Oh, let's see. We have. Oh, a flower boot. You do? Yep. Yeah. Wrist guards. Yeah, you put them on your wrists, so then it keeps your hands nice and safe. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. What do you have? Also have some elbow pads. They go right here on your elbow. All of these things will protect you in case you fall down. Yeah. Ooh, and these kind of look like elbow pads, but they're bigger. Yeah. These are actually for your knees. Yep. So then your knees are nice and protected. Whoa. <laughs> Ooh. And last but not least, helmets. Yeah. Ooh. Mine's the color blue. That's one of my two favorite colors. Yeah. <laughs> and I have all sorts of colors on here. Well, shall we gear up so then we can roller skate? Yes, I can't wait! Yeah! Yay! Alright, let's go! Whoa, now we have our skates and our helmets on! Yeah. We should probably put on our knee pads! <laughs> Ooh, Nate, that's my helmet! Whoa, yeah they do! Whoa! Super fun. <laughs> All right, now that we have our safety gear on, let's go ride. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. 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 You Whoa. okay? Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, I'm fine. Whoa. All right. Whoa. It's Whoa. Slippery. Whoa. Whoa. This is tricky. Here I go. Whoa. It is really. Oh. Whoa. Oh, is it? Whoa. I almost fell. It's so slippery. Yeah, it is. Whoa. Whoa. We need to work on our balance. Oh no, I can't stop! Whoa. Watch Whoa. out! Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay, Mika. Whoa! <laughs> I'm glad you're wearing a helmet. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, all the safety gear really helps us stay safe. Yeah, Whoa. and it makes it less scary if you're gonna fall down. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, this is awesome! Whoa, what happened, Mika? Oh, I fell down. You 
did. Do you yeah. need help up? Oh, sure. Thank you. All right. Oh. Whoa. 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 Thanks, Flippy. <laughs> You're welcome. Wow. wow. This is really hard, huh? Yeah. It's pretty tricky trying to keep your balance up here. Yeah, it is. Whoa. Whoa. Do you see that? Whoa! Really good! Yeah! Whoa! Hi guys, how are you? Pretty Hi. good, how are you? What's I'm your name? I'm doing really well. My, I'm Coach JC here with Moonlight Roller Way. And I would like to teach both of you to skate better. Wow! You're a coach, that means you must know a lot about roller skating. Just yeah. a little bit. <laughs> but let's get started. What I'd like to do is teach you first, see how you're losing your balance. Yeah. We want to get you both in the T position. So you're going to roll your skate behind, put it in a T, and look, you can stand up nice and tall Whoa. and hold your balance. Whoa. So yeah, see? Yeah. And I noticed that you were just falled. And so yeah. let's see if we can go over that. Let's okay. go over okay. practice falling and getting back up. Wait, okay. we're gonna practice falling? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> awesome, so let's all sit down. Okay. Oh. We're gonna get down just like this. Okay. And the Whoa. first thing you always wanna do when you're on the ground is get your hands off the floor okay. so that no one can roll over them. Oh. So right. hands in the lap, okay. and then we're gonna roll over on two knees. Okay. So we're gonna go two knees down, and then we're gonna go one knee up. We're gonna take both hands, put it on that knee, and we're gonna look up because we're going up. We're gonna push straight up, and look, we're gonna go right back into that T. We Whoa. just practiced. Wow! Now, Mika, you can get up on your own if you fall again. Yeah, wow, thanks for teaching us that. No yeah. problem, that's great. So now, can you guys both say one, two, three, roll? Yeah. yeah. One, two, two three, three, roll! Awesome, that means you can skate. Okay, what? so we're gonna put action to all those words you just said. Okay. So we're gonna now take our T and move it into a letter V. Letter and v. by putting a letter V with your skate, see how we can touch the back wheels? Yeah. We're gonna put our hands in front, we're gonna keep our knees bent, and we're gonna keep our hands nice and straight and our heads up. And we're gonna go one, two, three, roll. Okay, okay let's do that together. All right, ready? Yep. One, one two, two, three, roll. Whoa. See, and if you lose control, what's the letter we go right back to? The T. Oh, the letter? The T. T. That's gonna be your favorite letter today. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so from the T, we're gonna go back to the B and we're gonna try rolling just a little bit further this time. All right. Hey. Ready? One, One two, two, three, three. roll! Oh. And we're gonna keep going and this time, we're gonna try and put our heel back okay. and lift and get that toe stop into the surface. Oh, whoa! That See? was cool! We just stopped with the toe stop. It really just stopped? Toe stop and now watch to the T. The T. Our favorite letter. And yeah. then we're gonna go right across and we're gonna keep going with our marching and our hands strong in front. Whoa. One, two, three. One, two, three. three. Roll! Whoa. Wow, look how good you both are getting. Yeah. I'm we so excited. Getting, yeah, we are getting really good, huh, Mika? Yeah, I feel much better about skating now. Whoa. Great job, you guys, and you're skating safely. Yeah! Oh, look well, at us. shall we show us your stuff now? Yes. Yeah. You guys go on, enjoy your skate. All right. Thank you. Nice job. Yeah! Too, Mika, you're going so fast. Yeah, so are you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa. 
Whoa, this is so cool. It's like I'm flying because of the wheels. Whoa. Whoa, that was awesome. That was so fun. Yeah. Hey, Pedro, thanks for hooking us up with these awesome roller skates. Yeah. No problem. <laughs> Yeah, it was really fun, and Nika did really good. Her balance is great. Aw, thanks, Blippi. You did really great, too. What a fun day. <laughs> Glad you guys had a good time. Yeah. Thanks. See you later, Pedro. Wow, that was so much fun. Yeah, we learned so many cool things today and really got to practice our balance and skating skills. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Mm -hmm. Will you spell my name with me? Yeah. Uh, yeah. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. Wait, Mika, how do you spell your name? Oh, I'll tell you. It's M-E-E-K-A-H. Wow. Mika. Wow, Mika. Hey, why don't we go on some more fun field trips together soon? Yes, I would love to, Blippi. Yeah, let's go. All right, see ya. Bye-bye. <laughs>
stay nice and clean and organized because we have a lot of things to weigh here. Hey, all right. Hey, check these out. What kind of fruit are these? Do you know? Yeah, this one is an apple. And this one is an orange. Yum! <laughs> I love fruit. And I love vegetables. Okay, let's see. Huh, they weigh roughly the same. I wonder what one's gonna be heavier, what one's gonna be lighter. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa, do you see that? Yeah. The apple is heavier. Wow. <laughs> and it's bigger. But that isn't always the case. Remember? Yeah. The feathers were so big. And then the rock was so small. But the feathers, yeah, were lighter than the rock. So it's all about density. Yeah, let's see here. Ooh, look at these. <laughs> wow, these are cubes. And they actually are pretty, whoa, <laughs> light. <laughs> wow. See, even one barely even tipped the scale. Okay, so let's go like this. Okay, there are four on that side. Actually, let's do three. <laughs> okay, now the same cubes on this side. Let's do five. What one do you think will be heavier? Yeah, you're right. Five cubes of the same size and same weight is heavier than three cubes of the same size and weight. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, all right, let's get back to weighing things. Okay, let's put these rocks over here. Let's gather up all the feathers. We need to pick up after ourselves. Perfect, put those right over there. <laughs> Although they're so cute and pretty. <laughs> okay, all right. Now we have some dinosaurs. <laughs> we have a T-Rex. <laughs> okay, you can stand right there. Oh, how about you just take a nap? Just like that. <laughs> and then we have a Triceratops. <laughs> Okay, let's see what toy weighs more. I don't know the actual dinosaur weight, but just for these toys. Yeah, this T-Rex is heavier than the Triceratops. But what if we added a Brontosaurus to it? All right, are you ready? These are definitely heavier. <laughs> okay, we'll put those aside. All right, now we have an experiment. Okay, we have rice and we have water. So let's put the same amount of rice in a balloon compared to the water, the same amount. So let's do a quarter of a cup. And then we can see what one is heavier, which means which one is more dense because they're actually gonna be roughly the, the, no, they will be the, the same size. Yeah, because one quarter of a cup is volume. Perfect, all right. <laughs> Sometimes it can be so confusing. <laughs> okay, all right, one quarter of a cup. Make sure it's nice and flat. Perfect. Okay, oh, gotta set that down right here. Need to prep my balloon first. Perfect. Go. Okay, gotta use the funnel or else it would be really dirty. <laughs> okay, here we go. One quarter cup. Let me tie it. Okay, now we'll do the water. Now we need one quarter of a cup of water. Whoa, I don't want to spill. Ready? Ah, perfect. <laughs> okay, let's 
stay nice and organized. Be sure to clean up. All right, now let me tie this. Okay, so we use the same amount of volume. One quarter cup of rice, one quarter cup of water. Okay, now we get to do the fun part. We get to put it on the scale and we get to see which one is more dense. Which one is heavier? Ready? Yeah, the blue was rice. Whoa, rice is more dense than water. Whoa! Do you know what else is really heavy? Yeah! Construction vehicles are really heavy. Yeah, like this excavator or this front loader. Whoa! Huh. This excavator is actually heavier than this front loader toy. Whoa! <laughs> hey, I have an idea. Since we're talking about weight and machines, are really, really, really heavy. Let me think about a machine that is very heavy, low to the ground, and can push everything out of its way. Do you know what machine that is? Yeah, look at the big front blade on it. Yeah, that is a bulldozer. Hey, I think we should learn and watch the bulldozer video. <laughs> bulldozer, clearing the land. Pushing rubble and sand Bulldozer Constructing the roads Move over, it's about to roll It's a yellow tracked machine Found on mines, farms, and factories It can push most anything Bulldozers stirring up debris Bulldozers help the farmers work By breaking up Rocks and digging in the dirt with the blade on the front and the claw on the back. It can help you build a home just like that. Whoa, it's on a roll. Bulldozer. And they can move through some rough terrain. They can move all kinds of things. Bulldozer, clearing the land. Pushing rubble and sand Bulldozer Constructing the roads Move over, it's about to roll Bulldozer Clearing the land Bulldozer Pushing rubble and sand Bulldozer Constructing the roads Move over, it's about to roll Roll, roll on bulldozer it's a yellow machine Roll, roll on bulldozer Better move over, here comes the bulldozer It's a yellow machine Ring, ring! Alright, <laughs> put in the box, here we go! Go to the other side, dump them out! There we go! Two more blocks on this side! Hmm, let's see... Maybe the rock will make it heavy enough. Whoa! It for sure was heavy enough. Wow, that was so much fun learning about weight with you. And also, bulldozers. Wow, those machines are so heavy. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Blippi. Good job. All right. See you again. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, I'm going to clean up now. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. And that was really fun riding a bike with you. Whoa. I was riding really fast because <laughs> I was so excited to see you today. But you know, sometimes I ride really slow when I'm really tired. <sighs> hey, can you
can you think of any animals or things that go really fast? <laughs> I like that. I think I can think of some too. Come on. Whoa! <laughs> you could be really fast like a rocket ship. <laughs> or like a horse. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty silly being a horse. Can you think of anything that goes really slow? <laughs> okay, let's keep thinking. Whoa. You know what goes really slow? A Ferris wheel. Ooh. <laughs> and a snail. How do you know if something moves really fast or really slow? Whoa. Hmm. I know, you time it. Yeah, you use a clock to see how long it takes for something to happen. And I know the perfect place for you and I to figure out how things go really fast and really slow. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. Let's go. I'll see you there. I'll race ya. <laughs> Hey, it's me, Blippi. Whoa, and look at that. It's a really big ropes course. <laughs> yeah. Well, I am so excited because today at Nona Adventure Park in Orlando, Florida, you and I get to go to the very top. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be so much fun. Come on. Before we start the ropes course, I think it's a really good idea to learn about all the right equipment to use and to get in a little practice. This right here, this is the harness. And it's really important to put the harness on. So if you're doing the ropes course and you fall off, the harness will get you. Woo! <laughs> That'll be fun. Okay, so we'll put this harness on, kind of like a belt. Put in our left leg, woo! And then our right leg. And do the harness dance. <laughs> yeah, good job. And now you just tighten the harness like this, just like a belt. Now the next part of safety equipment we don't want to forget about are the clips. The clips are gonna help us clip onto the ropes. Yeah, so we'll take this loop and we'll put it through the clips. Yeah, and now we're all ready to start practicing. <laughs> hey, I think it's time to go on the ropes course. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, that's pretty high up. Maybe it's a better idea to start off with something a little lower to the ground first, and then we'll do that next. Come on. Whoa, look at this place. This is awesome. <laughs> yeah, look at all these cool, stools <laughs> and ropes yeah they're all different colors do you know what colors all these ropes are yeah this is the color red we have the color black Ooh. <laughs> and this one's one of my favorite the color blue <laughs> yeah whoa all of these different obstacles that i'm gonna have to walk on look a little bit wobbly whoa whoa <laughs> That's okay, you and I can use all of our balance to stay nice and upright so we won't fall. <laughs> okay, we're all ready to go on the ropes course. Yeah! Look at this. This one has a bunch of fossils for feet, for little steps to step on. <laughs> Boing, woo, wee, woo. <laughs> Whoa, this one's really bouncy. Let's keep going. Come on. Woohoo! <laughs> 
is so much fun! Hey, I think we've done such a good job that we can try the one all the way at the top! Let's go! This is gonna be so much fun! Wow, that was really tiring, but I'm excited for another one. Oh, hey, look! It's my really good friend! Hey, Jake! Hey, Blippi. Did you know that Jake is a pro athlete? Yeah! <laughs> He's really good at all kinds of sports and really cool things, like ropes courses. <laughs> yeah! So, is it really hard being a pro athlete? It is, but it's a lot of fun. <laughs> That's cool. I bet you have to eat a lot of really healthy, yummy vegetables. <laughs> vegetables are important. One of my favorite foods is Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts? Ooh! One of my favorite foods is broccoli! <laughs> yeah! Hey, do you have a favorite food that you like to eat? <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty yummy food. <laughs> hmm. Well, this has been really fun doing this first rubs course, but I think I'm ready to try the one way up there. Whoa! <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. I got a timer, we can time it if you want. Yeah, that's a great idea. How about Jake and I time doing the ro ropes course and see who wins? It'll be a blippy competition! <laughs> yeah! Okay, so who should go first? Why don't you go for it? Okay, I'm so excited. I'm gonna go first while Jake times me and then he'll go next. Come on! I did it! That was so much fun! That was really fast, that was awesome. Whoa, it was really tricky up there, clipping into all the different parts, and it took a lot of balance. <laughs> it was so much fun, I almost made a full circle! Well, actually, this ropes course is not a circle, because it has six sides. Hey, do you know what a six-sided shape is called? <laughs> yeah, that's right, it's called a hexagon! Woo! <laughs> Well, that was really fun, but Jake, I think it's your time to go up to the top. All right, here's the timer. Okay, I got the timer. On your mark, 
Get set. And go! <laughs> I can't wait to see how fast Jake can do the ropes course. Be because you're a pro athlete and practice a lot. <laughs> Great job! You're the winner! <laughs> yeah! Bye, Jake! See you, Blippi! Woo! <laughs> hey! I have a really good idea. How about you and I race? Okay, get the time on the clock started. Let's race! Hello! <laughs> Over here! Woo! <laughs> I'm up here! Hello! <laughs> Looks like you found me! Okay, here we go! Down the slide! Woo! Looks like you beat me. <laughs> that was really fun. <laughs> Good job racing with me. Whoa, look over here. Hey, you see what it says? Curiosity Corner. <laughs> it looks like it's time for the Curiosity Corner. <laughs> yeah, I am so excited because these are so much fun. I can't wait to find out what we're going to build together. Oh, look at the clock. Hey, I bet you and I get to build a clock today. <laughs> yeah, let's get started. Come on. Whoa, <laughs> look, we're here at the Curiosity Corner. <laughs> and it looks like we're gonna make an awesome clock. <laughs> okay, well first, what do we need to make a clock? Hmm, oh, I know, a circle. Whoa, it looks like this paper plate is gonna be a great circle. Okay, and we're gonna need a pen because clocks have numbers. Yeah, hmm. 12 numbers. So first, we wanna put the numbers down. And a good way to write down the numbers so they're all in the right space is to start at the top. The top of a clock has the number 12. <laughs> hmm. The bottom of the clock has the number six. <laughs> And then, to the right of the clock, we add the number three. And to the left of the clock, we have the number nine. <laughs> well, there's a couple more numbers on a clock, so I'm gonna fill in the rest. <laughs> Whoa, look! We have all the numbers of the clock. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. But I think our clock is still missing some things. Hmm. We have the numbers, but what points to the numbers? Oh yeah, hands, <laughs> hands. 
a clock has two hands, and we have some really cool paper here. My favorite colors, orange and blue. And all you need to do is cut out little arrows. Okay, you take our little arrows, we're gonna put them on the clock, then we just pin them in. Now that we've finished our clock, let's see if we can tell some time. Hmm. Well, we have our big hand and our little hand. What does three o'clock look like? Yeah, just like that. A little hand is on the three. Hmm. What does six o'clock look like? The little hand? We move that again, and it's on the six. Hmm. I wonder what nine o'clock looks like. Oh. Yeah, that's right. That's what nine o'clock looks like. A little hand is on the nine, big hand is on the 12. <laughs> that was so much fun telling time with you. <laughs> Yay! Hello! <laughs> Whoa! These circles are the same shape as a clock. And that gave me a really good idea. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Whoa! I think you and I should do a really fun dance. <laughs> Just like a clock. We'll use the tick-tock of the clock for a really cool beat and the hands of a clock, woo, <laughs> for some sweet dance moves. <laughs> yeah. Okay, step one, we're gonna make our hands like this. Three o'clock, we'll move them to six o'clock, then back to three o'clock, and then to nine o'clock, <laughs> woo. And step number two is have lots of fun and be really silly. <laughs> I'm so excited to dance together. Let's go. <laughs> We learned about all kinds of things, like going slow means it will take a really long time, and going fast won't take much time at all. <laughs> it was also really fun learning about time and clocks, and that clocks have two hands and 12 numbers. <laughs> yeah! Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? Yeah, B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -I. Flippy. Good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you real soon. I'm gonna go play in the ball pit. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! Bye bye. It's me, Blippi, and I'm just out exploring today. Wow, what beautiful land this is. Hey, come on. Whoa, look at all this tall grass. I wonder what's on the other side. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Yeah. Today, I'm in Tenino, Washington, and this looks like a secret go-kart track. Yeah. Oh, I sure do love go-karts. Have you ever ridden a go-kart before? Yeah, they're so fast. Grabbing that steering wheel, round the corners. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> I was just acting like I was driving a go-kart. Oh, speaking of go-karts, yeah, this thing is awesome. Hey, what color go-kart is this? Yeah, the main color of this go-kart is the color red. Yeah, 
I do like the color red. Hey, look at the number up here. Every go-kart has to have a number. So then you know when you cross the finish line, if you won. <laughs> and this number right here, what number is it? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this number is five. Wow, whoa, this is so cool. And do you see these wheels and tires? Yeah, they have some dirt and mud on them. Someone must have been racing this go-kart. Yeah, and actually these tires, yeah, they're not normal tires like on a car or a truck, how it has tread. These are nice and flat. Yeah, better for speed. <laughs> oh, hey, look, this is the engine of the go-kart. Whoa, there's so many parts. One way to turn it on is this. You pull it up and then it gets the motor turning and it turns it on, provides the power so you can go fast. <laughs> Whoa, back here, look at this. This is a chain and this is how the engine provides all the power to the rear wheels and tires. Whoa, I am so excited to ride this. Oh, speaking of riding it, yeah, this is where I'm gonna sit. This is the seat. Oh, it sure does look comfortable, doesn't it? <laughs> Woo, and this is the steering wheel. Do you see when I turn the wheel, it turns the wheels and tires? Whoa, that looks fun. Oh, and last but not least, right up here. This is where you put your feet. Push down right here for the brake. And on the other side, this is for the gas. Speaking of gas, yeah, the engine needs gas. And right here, this is where you fill it up. Okay, it looks like we explored the whole go-kart. So it must be time to drive and race the go-kart. Oh geez, I am so excited. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Wait a second, I need all my safety gear. Three, two, one. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, my safety gear. Yeah, I have my helmet on, my goggles, my gloves, and that means I am ready to race. Yeah, you have to wear a helmet so then it keeps your head nice and safe. You have to wear gloves so then you can hold on to the steering wheel nice and tight. And you wear, yeah, the goggles. So then dirt and mud doesn't flip in your face. Oh, here we go. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> I forgot to turn on the go-kart. All right, here we go. Oh yeah. Make sure everything's turned on. And remember what I said earlier? We need to give it a pull. This go-kart is the color black, and its number is five, eight, nine, whoa! Hey, who are you? Kylie. Kylie? Well, it looks like you're my competition. Are you ready to race? Yes. Whoa! Looks like Kylie is ready. Oh, hey, another competitor. Oh, what's your name? Lincoln. Lincoln? Whoa, are you ready to race? Yeah. Who do you think's gonna win? Me. Whoa, that sounds like some tough competition. All right, looks like Lincoln is ready. Looks like Kylie is ready. And me, Blippi, 
is ready to race. All right, let's start those engines. Fun out! Yeah, that was so much fun driving this go kart and racing this go kart. Oh, geez, this red go kart. Yeah, the red number five go kart did me so good today. We had a safe day riding go karts together. Good job. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, Flippy. Good job. All right, I should probably take another lap. <laughs> See you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>